Welcome to the Better Power Generator installation video. Better Power Incorporated is the largest wholesale distributor of Generac generators in the Northeast. Our video will give you an overview on how to take Generac generators from warehouse to their house. We won't comprehensively cover every situation you'll run into, but this can help you navigate many issues you'll encounter in a residential install. Better Power makes it easy to get all the installation parts you need. And because of our volume, we can offer you very competitive pricing. Be sure you consult the corresponding Generac installation guide and technical bulletins before your installation. And remember that any town or authority having jurisdiction always has the final say. When selecting the site, locate the generator as close as possible to the fuel supply and electric panel. Less wire and less gas pipe equals less cost and time. Choose a space that offers unobstructed airflow. If you leave plenty of room around the generator, it will make future service work easier. Stay away from windows, doors, AC condensers, or vents. The National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, requires that the generator be installed five feet from the nearest wall, unless that wall has a fire resistance rating of one hour or more. Local codes may have other requirements. When you buy a generator from Better Power, you can have it delivered to your site. We picked this generator up from the warehouse with a trailer to avoid delivery charges. When ordering, don't forget to request a generator cart. It makes moving easy and efficient. Optional accessories from Better Power will make this job easier. Instead of pouring a concrete pad, we'll use this three inch prefabricated gen pad. Winters here in Western New York get pretty cold. So this generator will get an optional cold weather kit, which will help it start in extremes. This is a spool of pre-configured wires designed specifically for this application. It speeds up wiring. When you decide where the generator will go, level and compact an area at least 36 by 60 inches. Instead of pouring a concrete pad or digging a gravel bed, we'll use this prefabricated gen pad. This gen pad will go right on the homeowner's existing patio. Notice how the transport cart helps to move the generator onto the gen pad. The keys are located inside the breaker door. Use these to unlock the generator's enclosure. Pull the front panel off and use an Allen wrench to remove the stainless steel bolts and sleeves at the bottom of the generator. Line up the bolt holes with the threaded inserts on the gen pad and replace the bolt sleeves and two bolts to secure the generator to the gen pad. For natural gas installations like this one, verify that the customer's service is capable of providing enough fuel flow to power the household appliances and the generator. Use the installation guide chart to size your pipe. Once you determine the size of the gas pipe, take measurements to determine how much you'll need. It's important to plumb directly from the source and not off the end of any existing systems. Both natural gas and LP vapor are highly volatile. Strictly follow all safety procedures, codes, standards, and regulations. Use only AGA-approved gas pipe and sealant. Generac air-cooled generators come with a flexible fuel line. This prevents gas leaks caused by vibrations or ground heat. Install the line horizontally and as straight as possible. Install a shutoff valve in the fuel supply line. Make it easily accessible. Check local codes for any additional requirements. To complete our electrical connections, remove the appropriate knockouts in the back of the generator housing and feed the main AC and control wires into the back of the generator. To connect the control wires, push down on the spring-loaded connection point, insert the wire, and release. 
pre-configured control wire, available from Better Power, is color-coded and speeds up the installation. The generator installation guide specifies which wires connect with which terminals. To connect the main AC wires, remove the two cap plugs located behind the breaker door and to the right of the main breaker inside the generator. Loosen the lugs of the main breaker through the access holes, then insert the main AC wires into the lugs and torque it down. You'll find torque specs on the inside of the main line circuit breaker door. Run all electrical wiring through liquid tight conduit with a quality adhesive on each connection. For this project, we're installing a Generac RTSY 200 200 amp automatic transfer switch. When you unbox the transfer switch, pull its fuses and set them aside in the owner's manual bag for safekeeping. That way, you won't burn out the switch accidentally when you first introduce electricity into the system. The RTSY200 is enclosed in a NEMA 3R enclosure, which means it's rated for outdoor installation. Mount this switch right next to the meter, making sure that it's vertical and topside up. Before connecting any wires, turn off the main utility power and verify that the generator is turned off as well. For this switch to maintain its NEMA 3R rating for outdoor installation, all power cables must enter the enclosure either at or below the knockouts provided. Once the switch is mounted, connect the utility power source cables to the utility service disconnect circuit breaker. Then, connect the customer load leads to terminals T1 and T2 on the switch. Next, connect the generator power source cables to terminals E1 and E2 on the transfer switch. Generac air-cooled generators take 26R wet cell batteries. Units don't come with batteries, but better power can supply them. Before installing the battery, make sure the generator is turned off and the utility power is still disconnected. Also, remove the fuse from inside the generator control panel. Dielectric grease on the battery posts will help prevent corrosion. Place the battery inside the battery compartment and connect the positive and negative terminals respectively. This battery warmer is part of a cold weather kit available from Better Power. These kits help the generator start in cold temperatures by keeping the battery and oil warm. After you install the battery, replace the control panel fuse. The control panel will light up once it senses battery power. However, the generator still needs to be activated before it will run automatically in a power outage. Generac generators can be activated online or by calling 1-888-922-8482. The generator installation guide has an activation chart that includes step-by-step -step instructions and troubleshooting. Before starting the generator for the first time, check the engine crankcase oil level, which should be full from the factory. Check the fuel supply. Make sure fuel lines have been purged and leak tested. To test the generator, press the manual power button on the control panel. After verifying that the generator will turn on and run, we'll turn it back off by pressing the manual power button again. Recover the fuses that you removed when you were unboxing the switch and reinstall them. Once you've completed the installation, be sure to carefully follow all of the testing procedures laid out in the installation guide. These will ensure that the system works flawlessly each and every time your customer loses power. So there you have it. Everything you need from Better Power to take your Generac generator from warehouse to their house. Better Power offers multiple kits to help speed the job up as well as the batteries and connections you'll need. Be sure you carefully follow the instruction manual and comply with all local regulations. 
And if you have any questions for us, you can always reach us at 1-800-475-1321. Better Power, the better way to get and stay connected.